Welcome everybody to the second part of our how to do a spawner survey video series. This second part is just a quick overview of the forms that you'll be using when you do your surveys to record your data. These are called stream inspection logs or SIL forms for short. And it's, they're pretty self-explanatory but uh, wanting to just go over it together and make sure there's no confusion about what is being asked of you on the paper. So this is our first page. This first page is just general information about the conditions on the day that you're doing your walk. We've got information about weather, time of day, water clarity, pretty basic stuff like that. A couple things to note though, date, wanna keep it with the year, month, day just for consistency and again for consistency the times we're going to be using the 24 hour clock when we write this down and being being diligent about that is just going to make it easier for whoever ends up entering the data into the system at the end of the day another thing is the water temperature if we've given you a thermometer or if you've got one on hand and can take the water temperature that's fantastic but that one's not mandatory in order to submit the form. So if you're not recording the water temperature, don't worry about that. Finally, I'll just uh, speak to the comment section down below. So right down here. This is just an area for you to record any information that you think is worth noting that wasn't covered already. So if there's a spectacular weather event that just isn't properly being represented in that upper section or things like dogs playing in the creek or blocked culverts stuff that can be uh, impacting what is happening on the creek this is a great place to to write that so page two that's where we're getting into the nitty-gritty of counting those fish so we have our species here we have adults jacks and dead fish as their own sections. Uh, you'll notice that the page is broken up into two boxes and then within that three numbered rows. And so those numbered rows are meant uh, for each segment that you're walking. So if you're only walking one segment on that day, feel comfortable just filling in one of those rows. That's all you need to do. If you've walked two, you'll fill out one and two. If you walked six, then you would use the whole page. Um, the only other thing that I'll point out on this page is our adults estimated row. So this is different from our adults observed row, which is where we record the number of adult fish that we have seen in the creek. The adults estimated is a place for you to extrapolate what you've seen. So if you have seen five fish, for example, and you, but you feel like you were inhibited in seeing the actual amount of fish that were in that segment, if you feel like realistically there were probably double that, then that's a space where you could write 10. Um, it, on the other hand, if it's a clear day, if it's, you've had great visibility, you've taking your time, you feel like you've really seen every fish that's there, then that would be uh, just the same number as adults observed. I would just write a five there. So that's up to you to just uh, reflect on what you've observed and um, just accurately reflect if there's been some kind of inefficiency in your observations. And so that's that for page two. Page three, very similar. This is just a summary of everything that's on page two. So if you've walked multiple segments, this is a place for you to calculate the totals from those segments and uh, have that be in one place for submitting the data. Again, if you've only walked one segment, the numbers are gonna be the same and that's totally fine. There's just a couple differences on this page from the second page, so I'll, I'll point those out now. So 
in addition to our adults estimated, we have our estimate reliability. So this is a place for you to reflect your confidence in that estimate. I know, um, you know, sometimes you just don't feel like you're able to get a really good estimate. And this is a place for you to represent that. Or again, if you're feeling very confident in, in your estimations, you can reflect that. And that is calculated into the data as well. We also have our estimated percentage of population surveyed. So that is going outside of the segments that we walked, thinking about the creek as a whole, what percentage of the population of fish we were able to view. So this is going to depend a bit on the creek itself. If you've walked a lower section and you know that access is blocked for fish past that, then maybe you've been able to see 100% of the population. If you've walked a small part of what you know is you know, a very extensive network of fish habitat, then that's a way for you to factor that in. Maybe you were only able to see 20% of, of the total population of the creek. So again, that's an estimate. Do your best. Just reflect on what you've seen and what you know of the creek. We also have our total river estimate. So that's here. And that is actually going to be a calculation based on the other numbers that you have. So I'll give you the equation, but um, don't worry about having to take notes. Remember uh, that we will send this along to you as well, so not to worry. But the equation for the total river estimation is adults estimated plus jack seen plus dead fish seen, all divided by the percentage of population surveyed. So adults estimated plus jack seen plus dead seen divided by the percent population surveyed. And then finally we have our spawn timing section. Uh, so just a way to locate what you're seeing, again, in the context of, of what's happening on the ground. So it's just going to be the timing of the run. Uh, that's going to be calculating from what species you're looking at, their kind of regular schedule, and the, obser the observed run. So uh, based on what you're seeing there as well, whether it's fish have not started spawning yet, whether it's just the beginning, whether we're right in the middle of spawning season, or whether it's looking like most fish have already spawned. Um, and that is a basic summary of, of the sill form. There's another comment section here if you want to give more notes about why you estimated the way you did, things like that. That'll all be taken into account by the folks at DFO, which is really great. Um, and so you'd fill these forms out, send them into Greenways, and we'll compile them and get them out to DFO. And that's going to be a big help. So hopefully you have the information you need. If you still have questions about any of this, feel free to reach out. Greenways will be happy to help you. And uh, hopefully you can get out and have a good walk and spot some fish out on the creek. Thank you.